Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how you go about transferring cryptocurrency such as Bitcoin to an external wallet from your crypto.com application or your crypto.com account. So what we want to do from the homepage of the crypto.com app is here towards the top, we want to click on this button that says transfer. And then we get this pop up. What we want to do is click on where it says withdraw down here. And we're going to be withdrawing crypto to other platforms, our external wallet. So we select that option right here. And then at the bottom, it says external wallet, and that's what we want to click on. So we're going to select that. That takes us over to a page where we need to set up the external wallet that we're going to be transferring to. Now, potentially you've already set up the transfer wallet, and then you can just select that from your transfer list. But for most of you, you're probably going to be setting up your wallet from scratch. So to do this, it's pretty simple. You just click on this little plus sign in the upper right hand corner. And we're setting up an external wallet address. So we're going to click on the wallet address option down here at the bottom. And then we need to select the cryptocurrency that we're going to be transferring. So for this example, I'm going to be transferring Bitcoin over to my Cash App Bitcoin wallet. So I'm going to select the Bitcoin option right here. And now I need to get that external Bitcoin wallet address to copy and paste it in this area. So I'm going to quickly go over to Cash App to grab that Bitcoin wallet address. And for you to get this external wallet address that you want to send to, it's going to be different just based on what app you're using. For this example, I'm using Cash App. So I'm going to go down to the bottom right hand corner and click on the Bitcoin tab. And then from the Bitcoin page, I can click where it says view Bitcoin address. And then I can click where it says copy address. And now that I have that Bitcoin wallet address copied, I'm going to go back over to crypto.com. And that wallet address that I had just copied down, I'm going to paste in the address area right here. And then I can click enter. And then I can enter in a wallet name right here. And I'm just going to name it Cash App. And then I'm going to click the little check mark here at the bottom. And then I can click continue. And to confirm this external wallet, I need to check my email to confirm this new wallet address. So opening up the email that I got from crypto.com, just double check everything over to make sure it looks good. And to confirm, you click on this little blue button down here where it says confirm withdrawal address. If you're having trouble finding this confirmation email, it might be over in your junk mail or your clutter folder. And I'd recommend adding crypto.com to your contacts in your email program so that you don't have to worry about these emails being put over in a place where they're harder to find. So I'm going to go ahead and click on where it says confirm withdraw address. And now that I have my Cash App Bitcoin wallet set up and ready to go, I can click on the withdraw option right here next to it. And then we need to enter in how much Bitcoin that we'd like to withdraw. So we can click on the Bitcoin option right here. And currently the minimum amount of Bitcoin that you can transfer to an external wallet in the crypto.com app is 0.003 Bitcoin. That's just where it is right now. This could reduce in the future, but again, that's the minimum that we have right now. This is equivalent to around 150 US dollars. So then I can click the withdraw button. And then before clicking confirm at the bottom, you can just double check everything over. Now the downside to withdrawing to an external wallet currently from crypto.com is the fee is quite high at 0.0004 Bitcoin. This takes out quite a bit of the amount that we're sending. And this is a flat fee. So the more Bitcoin that you're sending, the less percentage of the amount that you're sending this is going to be. And this is also an amount that could change over time. So this could be less in the future. That's just where it's at right now. But once you check everything over and it looks good, you can click confirm at the bottom. And you should be good to go sending your crypto over to the external wallet after you do that. So I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll catch you back here next time.